Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Main Theme Tutorials. You're watching CICS Tutorial. This is Kumar. Okay, so we were uh, discussing about the CICS Tutorial on the various different topics. So today's my video would be on CICS Control Programs and Table. So this is which is a very very important as a beginner and this the uh, which would be an interesting uh, to know. So when never working with the CICS so the last week I was uh, discussing about the important terminologies that we used uh, as part of CICS right so the various terminologies that we uh, we used like uh, task transaction multitasking multi-threading and uh, re-entrancy and quasi re-entrancy so these were the important terminologies that we discussed in the class class so today's topic is all about the control programs and control tables that we use in CICS so uh, before starting with just I wanted to know like uh, in JCL by working with the JCLs you might have seen various IBM utilities that are in inbuilt provided by a IBM right so what does it mean so it means that there is no need to write any program or need to write develop a program to or uh, to take a uh, specific action so for example in JCLs in order to copy a program from one file to another file so there were many ways right so you have you can write a COBOL program and you can read the one file and you can copy to another file so that is the one way so the fastest way to is to use an IBM supplied utility okay it will have that unit utility and just with a single JCL you are trying to copy that so right the same way so CICS has applied a way various control programs and the control tables that are used in the background for the CSS operations okay so the various uh, programs are like TCP KCP PCP FCP and FCP SCP so in order to discuss in detail about what exactly these uh, in uh, details uh, means is like uh, these are these programs are used at the background so whenever you're working with the CSS maps programs or transactions so this would be helpful to these are used in the background so let's see in details about what is terminal control program so it receives the message from basically it receives the message from terminals and transfers the data between terminals and programs okay again uh, it receives the message from terminals and transfer the data from terminal to programs terminal and programs okay KCP uh, the name itself indicates that the task control programs uh, it uh, what you can say it uh, it controls the execution of tasks and its related properties okay PCP uh, PCP stands for program control programs so it uh, what you can say it locates the load program for execution and transfer the control between programs and return controls to the CSS region okay what is FCP FCP stands for file control program so what are the various file actions we have like read update add and delete records in a file right in the same way uh, FCP is to give the services that has read update delete records in a file and have an exclusive control over the records why we have an exclusive why this has an exclusive control in order to maintain the data integrity whenever there is a record updates then we have another program called SCP that is called a storage control program these all are used in control allocation and deallocation of storage within the CSS region so so these are the important control programs that are used uh, in uh, CICS so I'm not sure if it might be useful to you whenever you attend for an interview too so it might uh, they may ask like what is TCP what is KCP or what are the different uh, CSS control programs they have you can just proceed to answer this and next is coming to the CSS control table so we have the, the same way we have we had a control program so we have a table so where it will have the it will have their program id transaction so it is used to store those such a things so let's see what are they so we have many so just i'm having just i'm trying to display only few so these are the mainly used that is a tct that stands for terminal control table so it will have the ter all the terminals and uh, 
terminals registered or terminals list available in this particular terminal control table then we have a PCT that is called as a program control table so it will have the transaction ID and its corresponding program ID uh, in this table so whenever any transaction is initiated so first it will check for the transaction is existing in this control table and what is the program for the related to the particular transaction and it will go to a uh, program called a processing program table okay where it will check for the whether the actual the program is existing or not and it will check for the uh, load module of that particular program so this is called as a processing program table then we have a FCT this is called as a file control table so when there is in a when if you are in a program if you are using different files okay so files uh, files so you need to register or you need to uh, enter those file names and uh, these things in your FCT that is called as a, a file control table so so then basically what will the file will have the like file data set name the record length or the maximum and minimum length okay so uh, that's it about uh, the CSS control tables and its importance and uh, CSS control programs and its importance so so as I said so these are the two important uh, uh, concepts that we need to know okay and that is CSS control programs and the control tables so it is very much used when you attend further an interview okay so that's all for this today's class and uh, be coming up with different topics so and our uh, next topic would be the transaction life cycle like uh, what is uh, how the transaction is initiated and how the different tables and the different uh, uh, control tables are there is CSS control tables and uh, control programs come into the picture so we are going to see in detail in my next class about the transaction life cycle so if you like this video you can like you can like or uh, subscribe to my youtube channel or just give us a comment so based on your comment i can work on more and to try to dif produce a different uh, topic so and apart from this transaction life cycle so we also use various different uh, transactions low css has has supplied its own control programs control tables and transactions so that also we can discuss in the next classes okay for now uh, this is kumar signing off for today's tutorial so thank you so much for watching this video have a great and pleasureful day and happy learning